uh, it's a 14 gauge catheter introducer and tunneling is not required. If you like to tunnel, feel free, but it's, you don't have to. So direct this into the pleural space just as you want it. Okay. And then it's again this wire. You guys might want to practice doing this wire because it looked like when you see it done, it's like, oh yeah, I can do that. But then when you pick it up, it's all kind of sometimes yeah. like, where do I start? Okay. Pick up the holder, put your thumb on the wire, take the lid off, put put the J back into the holder, and just you want to put that all the way in. It'll seat in there really well. See? Mm -hmm. Okay. And now we're going to feed that wire into the plural space. I'm going to demonstrate that this is very soft. <laughs> it's not going to cause any problems with poking the hole or anything. Okay. I just put it in a little, you know, so far. Okay. Now we're going to pull the holder off of the wire. Don't let it get contaminated. Pull the introducer off. Now you got a wire hanging out of the plural space. Okay. Would you please feed the chest tube in, Doctor? Doctor Tim. Doctor Tim. In a very sterile Dr. manner, Nash. not this way. <laughs> Dr. In Nash very is not here today. <laughs> okay, good. Now when you get down to the skin, it's just a matter of giving it yeah, sort of a, a twist push. And you want to be mindful of where is the last hole with the top hole. Mm -hmm. So it's right there below the 10 mark. So you're going to keep going until you get that well into the chest and then you pull the wire out. Now if I were really a good doctor, I would have had this all loaded up here, ready to go. <laughs> I like to put this little normally closed valve already on the syringe. As soon as that wire's out, spin that on mm -hmm. there. And that closes it And off. you can mm -hmm. pull off any air that you just let get mm -hmm. in there or any fluid or whatever. Okay. Then you can grab your, depending on how many hands or helpers you have, <laughs> get your suture wing on there. Again. Put tight sutures once again around mm -hmm. the two grooves. Don't worry about crushing the tubing, it won't crush. Tack it down right at, right at the skin level. And then use this one to make a little strain relief. So suture it again right there, okay? Now everything's fastened down. And now you can get back to business here and pull that off over and over. Or you can grab one of those neat little centesis valves which with this on, you don't really need this. It's just an extra little valve there. Right. If you want it on, you can have it. If not, don't use it. And yes, that's right. So now I'm pulling from there mm -hmm. and I'm pushing out that way. <laughs> and it okay. whistles just like that. Yeah. All the cats jump out of the cage. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't whistle quite that loud when you're actually doing it, but um, so if you've got fluid in there too, so yeah. so there it is. Um, if you want to, if you want to put any kind of little cap on it, you can. We do supply one tethered cap just to keep gross dirt out. Um, we also have little. <coughs> not injection caps; they're stemless caps. So if you like, want to cover up the end of your micropore adapter. It doesn't have a stem in it that opens the adapter. It just covers it just mm -hmm. to just to keep nasty things away. Not sterile or anything. 